Hello. Sorry the video is late tonight, guys. But I got some, um, in a book I've got here at the house, chapter 20. It's got witty one-liners in it. Some supposed to be some funny one-line sayings. So, I thought I'd read you guys them tonight. Maybe it'll give you a laugh or a smile before you go to bed. The Lord created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. On the eighth day, he started answering complaints. Some people are kind, polite, and sweet-spirited until you try to get into their pew. That is the same with bingo, because I went to bingo for the first time um, at a bingo place, and I'd never been to a bingo like that before, and this was at Colton. And uh, I went down there, and I just took a chair, you know, took a seat, and some old lady came up to me, and she's like, that's my spot. Like, I didn't know whether I was supposed to get up and move and give her the chair. Or I ended up moving because she was determined she was getting that chair because that was her spot in that bingo room. So bingo's just like that. But yeah, I understand about the pews at church too because I know certain people that sit in the same pew every single time too so <laughs> I, I understand that as well but bingo is just like that guys if you ever go to bingo you'll see don't sit in nobody's she don't sit in nobody's chair <clears throat> many folks want to serve God but only as advisors <laughs> that's the truth it's easier to preach ten sermons than it is to live one. A conservative thinks children ought to pray in school. A liberal thinks children ought to ride a bus to school. And a moderate thinks children ought to pray on the bus. I didn't get it. Am I the only one that's slow? Did you get that, Sherm? You're listening to me, Sherm? No. Sherm's not even listening. Nobody cares about my stories. No one cares. No one cares. The good Lord didn't create anything without a purpose, but the fly comes close. A Bible that is falling apart probably belongs to someone who isn't. Yes, your mosquitoes are just as bad, too. Little blood suckers. They're as bad as flies. I don't like flies, either. I don't blame them. Nasty. Lost my place. Most of us spend the first six days of each week sow sowing wild oats when we go to church on Sunday and pray for a crop failure. Do you know the three times that most people are in church when they are hatched, matched, and dispatched? <laughs> when you get to your wit's end, you'll find God lives there. Quit griping about your church. It is a per <laughs> if it was perfect, you couldn't belong. Ask once why so many Christians seem much less than perfect. C.S. Lewis replied, You should have seen them before they became Christians. People are funny. They want the front of the bus, the middle of the road, and the back of the church. I usually, I usually always sit in the back, too. If that's because... Uh, People who have like usually have already got the front the front row, so outside of traffic there is nothing that has held the country back as much as committees. Americas are tense and keyed up. That is impossible 
even to put them to sleep with a sermon. My father used to say, you must have a terrible conscience if you can't sleep in church. The phrase that is guaranteed to wake up an audience, and in conclusion, if a church wants a better pastor, it can get one by praying for the one it has. The person who walks with God is happier than the one who rides in a limousine without him. Opportunity knocks only once, but temptation bangs on your door for years. The road to hell is paved with good, in good convictions. Hmm. I never heard it that way. I always heard the road to hell was paved with good intentions. Anyway, a lot of church members who are singing, standing on the promises, are just sitting on the premises. We were called to be witnesses, not lawyers. The purpose of a sermon is to drive home the point, not the congregation. I wonder what would happen if we all agreed to read one of the Gospels until we came to a place that told us to do something and then went out and we did it. Every evening I turn my troubles over to God. He's going to be up all night anyways. Old preachers never die. They just get put out to pasture. I don't know how old I am because the goat ate the Bible that I had my birth certificate in. The goat lived to be 27. <laughs> I don't know why some people change churches. What difference does it make which one you stay home from? A lie is an abomination unto the Lord and a very present help in time of trouble. Not only are the sins of the fathers visited upon the children, but nowadays the sins of the children are visited upon their fathers. <laughs> Let's see. God himself does not propose to judge a man till he is dead, so why should I? If a savior, savior leaves you as you are and where you are, from what? Has he saved you? Young man, the secret of my success is that at an early age I discovered I was not God. Amen. Pastors can learn a little about timing and relating from good comics. To make a long story short, don't tell it. That's what everybody's probably saying to me. Please, don't tell it. Some people just can't enjoy life. The first half of their lives are spent blaming their troubles on their parents and the second half on their children. I'm going to read one more and then I'm going to quit for tonight. Let's see, let me find a good one. What, what a good thing Adam had when he said a good thing he knew. Nobody had said it before. A lot of them didn't make sense to me, but... Anyway... Here's what I'll leave it off with. Dying is easy. Comedy is hard. I guess I'm not a very good comedy teller. Maybe you guys got a one smile or two out of tonight's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. I love you guys. Bye.